visiting Covenant, pal? If not, move along. You know, I'm people loitering around. Not good for the nerves. Is that what this place is called? Yeah, we're a real up-and-comer. A pit stop on the road for traders and such. We're not that big, but we got the bargains. Got a dock that can patch you up? We even got some lemonade. Well, that's what Deezer calls it anyway. There's a small catch, though. We don't just let anyone inside. There's an entrance test. We call it the safe test. Everyone's got to take it. Interesting idea. Between you and me, what's the test for? I probably shouldn't say nothing, but listen. We want to make sure only good people come into Covenant. No undesirables. Nobody that ain't actually what they seem, you know? I'm new to the area. What do you mean about undesirables? But you don't know about... Jesus, listen. Not everyone in the Commonwealth is human, okay? Some are... Since. I'm not gonna say anything more than that. Just take the test. You pass, and you can come inside where everything's safe. Alright? Do I really have to take the test? Hey, rules are rules. You ready? Sure. Good. Take a seat, and we can begin. So let's begin. There ain't no wrong answers. You are approached by a frenzied scientist who yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? I'd slip away before he finishes his rant. While he's speaking. Next question. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection on his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Restrain the patient, and merely observe as the infection spreads. Very, very interesting. You discover a young boy lost in a cave. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? I lead the boy to safety, then turn him over to someone in charge. Very curious. Congratulations! Hey, you made it onto a baseball team! Which position do you prefer? Pitcher. Are you certain about that? Never mind. Next question. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill someone. What do you do? I'd give her whatever she wants to spare his life. Hmm. Typical Class B. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? I'd grab a bobby pin and pick the lock. And that is all you'd do? Nothing else? Wait, don't answer. Next. Oh no. Huh. You've been exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? I don't know. I'd say a prayer and hope God would save me. A neighbor is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Uh, sneak into his room and steal it. Hmm. You're almost done. Last question. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking, and... I'd put a firecracker in his toilet. <laughs> that never gets old. Test's over. No one's ever answered quite like you. But hey, you passed. I'll open up the gate. Welcome to Covenant. Head on in. Any shop is usually the first stop. Sorry, I'm so busy. Caravan came a few days back. Worked for old man Stockton. You saw them, right? I already told you. I don't recollect. We get a lot of traffic. This isn't Diamond City. A caravan of five comes through, you'd remember. Then they must not have come through. Say, wouldn't you rather have a lemonade? My job here isn't drinking lemonade. I know for a fact they came here. Why the brush off? I want to help, mister, but I really don't recollect. Mark my words. I'll get to the bottom of this. Hope you're liking Covenant, stranger. From around here? God, I hope not. Had enough of these hicks. You have a problem with the people here? All the fake smiles and the fancy talking puts me on edge. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. You know anything about Stockton's caravan? Sure, I know about... Who was that again? <sighs> You're as bad as the rest of these idiots. I signed on with old man Stockton to find his lost caravan. What's left of it is just outside of town. The last stop was here, so I've been trying to put together the story. 
but I keep getting the runaround. Got a proposal for you. Help me find Stockton's people, and we split the reward. At least one survivor walked out of that massacre. And I intend to make good on my contract. If I help you, I want something up front. If I have your word, you'll help. I'll chip in 50 caps now. That's above and beyond the deal. Sounds fair. I'm in. Here's all I got on the caravan. I don't got proof, but Covenant's involved. Somehow. I'll keep poking around, but let me know if you find anything. Hey, Dan. This whole place has got me on edge. I hope you found something on the caravan. Do you have any other leads? No. If Covenant doesn't pan out, then I don't know where to start. I'll cross that road if I have to. People here are real sensitive about synths. What is a synth? You must be new around here. Synths are synthetic people made by the Institute. Real advanced machines. Might as well be human because no one can tell the difference between them and us. Everyone in the Commonwealth is afraid of synths and the Institute. But come to mention it, I've been here a long while and nobody's even breathed a word about them. That is odd. Do you have any proof Covenant is involved with the caravan? I got one thing. They deny up and down that Stockton's men ever came here. But they most certainly did. There's no reason to bald face lie to me if they're not hiding something. I'll keep poking around. We'll talk later. Well, hello. <clears throat> well, hello, stranger. The name's Jacob, and I run this town. Glad you passed the test. Our door's always open to good quality people. You can use one of the beds in the guest house. And you should visit Penny's store. Anything else in town? Doc Patricia will be more than happy to patch you up. For a modest fee, of course. You might want to stay clear of Mr. Dan. I've had some complaints about him. Can I ask you some questions? Ask away. Does Covenant have a problem with synths? Shouldn't everyone have a problem with synths? But there's none of those things here. Rest assured. Do you know anything about a missing caravan? Is this about those Stockton people? I've told Mr. Dan many, many times. We never saw them. Dan says your people are lying to him. If you ask me, I think Dan's been baking in the sun too long. The only secret we've got here is what's in Deezer's lemonade. And if you can get Deezer to tell you, you just got to fill me in. As the robot says, it's delicious. I have to go. You have a good day. They're hiding something. I'm sure of it. Hey, the, uh, the leg's still on the mend. You have anything for the pain? Enjoy your stay! Hey there. I hope Swanson didn't give you too hard a time as at the gate. Don't need the meds. If you ask you me, I think he takes his job too seriously. But welcome. Everyone not around not here calls me Mrs. Fitzgerald. Place, but you, cutie, can call me Penny. What do you do around here? A bit of everything. I try to leave some things for the menfolk to do. You know, so they feel in charge. You here to shop? I'll make sure to give you a good price. Do you have time for a few questions? For you? Hmm, <laughs> certainly. The town looks really nice. How'd you manage that? Oh, thank you for noticing. Well, the menfolk would say good old-fashioned elbow grease keeps Covenant as the prettiest place in the Commonwealth. But between you and me, I think shrewd trading may play a big part. <laughs> Does Covenant have some sort of problem with synths? Thank God we don't. None of those machines are in here. People here are really friendly. Why is that? Everyone that passes the test is welcome to visit, but we are particular on who can live here. And having a positive attitude is important to us. Do you know anything about a missing caravan? You've been talking to Mr. Dan. I don't know what he's carrying on about. He's just stirring the pot if you ask me. Why would he do that? Some people are just jealous when they see others leading a better life. And they'd like nothing better than to drag everyone down to their level. And Dan thinks he's the one helping people. He wouldn't know the first thing about making the Commonwealth a better, safer place. Uh, he should be thankful you let him in. Instead, he stomps around interrogating people. If the compound did do something to his precious caravan, they had reasons for it. Better reasons than a man like him. Hmm. You know, honey, I... 
I was just shooting off at the mouth. Just forget anything I said about that and the compound. I have to go. Busted again? The third radio this month. Ted better get on this pronto. Another newcomer. Welcome, Mr. Fitzgerald. We don't tolerate violence or vulgarity. Steer clear of those, and we'll get along just fine. This cell means business. What do we have? Dealing with depression, the 12 stages of grief, and some self-help books. Quite the library here. Break our rules, or has to leave. Rarely happens, though. That's a serious luck. Need to find a key. Let's hope someone's been careless. Really? Flamingos? Hmm. Looks like a trader left a bedroll. No marks on it, so no way of telling if it's from Stockton's people. That's some serious security. Maybe there's another way around it. That's it. Hey, Dan. You find out anything about the caravan? Well, what have you been up to? Not a lot. Everyone's got their eye on me. But I'll keep trying. They took the survivors to a compound. And we're in business. I'll meet you there and we'll rescue ourselves some caravan hands. Hey, a stranger. It's no secret you've been poking around. Not very neighborly of you, if you ask me. I know you think you're doing the right thing. Just don't make any rash decisions you'll regret. I don't know what you're talking about. If only that were true. Use your best judgment, friend. place. Hey, Dan. Some people up ahead. I'll follow your lead. Outsiders aren't allowed. Why are you here? I just want answers about Stockton's caravan. Nothing more. I'll take you to see Dr. Chambers. She'll know what to do about you. Don't try anything funny. You've been warned. Hey, Blight! Torture. They are sick. Just give me the signal. Yes, what is it, Manny? I thought you guys were done with Subject 12. Oh, yes. The interview's over. I'm just reviewing the data on Question 4. It's fascinating, really. Yeah, I'm sure. Certainly. You're the first outsider that's been in here. Welcome to the compound. Hey, extend the platform. Showed up on our doorstep. What was I supposed to do?
So the one investigating Stockton's caravan has arrived. Do you even know that his supposed daughter is in all likelihood a synth? No matter. Let me be upfront about this. There are two ways this meeting can end. We come to an agreement, or there's violence. There are no other options? Too much is at stake to allow you to simply leave. Let me pose a question to you. What would you do if your family was destroyed by a synth right in front of you when you were but a child? Would you roll over and accept it? Or would you do something about it? What happened to you? In Diamond City, a lifetime ago, my parents and eight others were massacred by someone. At first, we thought the maniac was human. But that was the day we learned of the Institute's latest creations, the synths. As long as the Institute walks invisibly amongst us, they strike without warning and control us from the shadows. I've dedicated my life to devising a test to detect these hidden synths, to root them out so they can be extinguished. Isn't that a goal worth fighting for? Who really knows what the Institute is responsible for? And how do they manage to keep us in the dark? A living synth is indistinguishable from a human by any medical test yet devised. But it turns out psychology can detect a difference. Enter the safe test. The test is in its infancy, but through sacrifice and perseverance, our success rate is improving. And the safe test works? Oh, yes. Autopsies confirm the test is getting more accurate. There's something in the questions which provokes a response from synth. But the exact trigger is elusive. The margin of error is admittedly high, four or five false positives per synth. But one day, we hope to get it to one or two false positives. If you can get that test to work, that could be a game changer. And then everything we've done will be justified. Covenant is many things. A refuge for the broken people left in the wake of the Institute's rampages. A place of safety and healing. But most importantly, it is our one chance to end this age of paranoia. I will make you a deal. If you let me dispose of Stockton synth and continue our work, I'll match whatever reward you were offered. I've had my fill of crazy on this contract. No deal. Fortunate for me, I wasn't talking to you. You side with this nut job, and we're going to have a serious, deadly problem. Are you threatening me, Dan? I have myself a code. That's not always good on my wallet, but it helps me sleep at night. I took this contract, and I will honor it. Even if I have to kill you to do it. Sorry. That's a deal I won't accept. Then you'll just have to kill me. Who's there? You should come here.
Gotta be holding them someplace. What the hell are they doing here anyway? Hey, Dan. So Stockton gets his daughter and we I'm get awesome. paid. Not a bad day. What if she's a synth? If even after all they've done to her, they don't know if she's a synth or not? I figure she's human enough. Here's your cut of the reward. I'll get my half from Stockton. Been a pleasure. I did more than half the work on this job. My share should reflect that. There's some truth to that. 60-40 work for you. Without me, you'd be dead. Maybe I should ask for it all. 90-10? Is that a joke? I risked my life, same as you. 70-30 is my final offer. Be safe, Dan. Same to you. Continue your work, then. I wish you hadn't said that. Our newest friend. You're always welcome here. Dr. Chambers filled me in on you. I can't tell you how relieved we are. Everyone in Covenant has suffered dearly at the Institute's plan. We all believe in the mission, but outsiders may not clearly see the sacrifices that are necessary to protect the Commonwealth. I'd like to help further if I can. Actually, I was wanting to help you. We all consider you a part of the family now. So if you want to use the workshop and help contribute to our community, you're more than welcome. I just knew you were our friend. 